At uh, 345 this afternoon today, officers responded to a call of uh, multiple persons shot at McKinley High School. But breaking tonight, Buffalo police now say a security guard was the only one shot today at McKinley High School. A spokesperson is confirming a second victim, a student, was stabbed multiple times. And that student, a 14 year old boy in ninth grade, is now recovering at Oshai Children's Hospital and is being closely monitored. Thanks for staying up late with us, everybody. I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Mayor Byron Brown is also providing an update on the security guard shot while protecting children, saying the guard has been treated and released from the hospital. The stabbing and shooting played out shortly after students started leaving for the day. Tonight, many questions and concerns remain. We have a team of reporters covering all angles of this story. Two on your sides, Liz Lewin, Claudine Ewing, and Leanne Stuck are standing by. But we begin tonight with Channel 2's Rob Hackford, who has some new information on how the district is moving forward following these acts of violence. Rob? Well, Scott Mary Ellis, information from Buffalo Police changed late in the day. It was first called a shooting, but around 9 o'clock, we learned that the student involved was actually stabbed multiple times. There was a security officer that was shot. He is doing okay tonight, and Buffalo Police say they are actively looking for a suspect or suspects involved. If you know anything about the shooting, if you know who the shooter is, please contact us immediately. Thank you. That was the message from Deputy Commissioner Joseph Grimalia Wednesday, just as Buffalo Police, the FBI, and Erie County Sheriff's deputies were wrapping up their occupation of Elmwood Avenue outside McKinley High School. Just to be clear, there's no ongoing threat uh, at the, the school currently. Students were dismissed around 3.20 p.m. At 3.45 came the first reports of a shooting. Buffalo police say it happened on a walkway outside of the school just before these greenhouses. A security officer was shot in the leg and a 14-year-old male student was stabbed and rushed into surgery. Shortly after, a helicopter and tactical teams arrived at the school, but no description of who is responsible has been shared by Buffalo police or where they may be. Police affirming there is no threat to the public either. Our detectives, our investigators are, are working to build up leads, talk to witnesses, and then we will, once we have sufficient evidence working with the district attorney's office, we will swiftly move to make an arrest. And we're trying to piece together all the information that we can to figure out exactly what happened and to make sure that we can all partner and work together to prevent these types of incidents from occurring again in the future. Gentlemen, right here, gentlemen. Well, Buffalo police are urging anyone with information about this incident at McKinley High School to give their tip line a call. That number is 716-847-2255. Important to note as well, BPS Superintendent Dr. Kreiner Kast says that students at McKinley High School will be learning remotely at least through the end of the week. In Buffalo, Rob Hack for Channel 2 News. We read about stuff like this in other cities and towns, not in Buffalo, New York. Like, this is just, it's heartbreaking. And tonight, parents are thankful to have their children home with them following what was a terrifying day for so many. Many waited hours and hours to be reunited with their kids who were still inside the school building as police investigated. Two on your side's Leanne Stuck continues our team coverage with new reaction from concerned and frustrated parents. Leanne, a terrifying situation for them. It really was. Scott and Mary Alice, while McKinley High School was on lockdown, around 100 students and teachers were kept in the school's cafeteria for hours. At the same time, parents anxiously braved the cold to wait outside till they could reunite. Many of them told me they had concerns about district communication. In a million years, and never thought nothing like this would happen. For three and a half hours after violence broke out at McKinley High School, parents stood together in freezing temperatures, waiting to be reunited with their children. My son called me at about 3.58 p.m. and said that there was a shooting in the school, a shooting at school. Um, he said he believed someone got shot and he was scared and he was crying. But some other parents told two on your side they were not able to communicate with their kids, saying the students' cell phones were taken from them. I've been trying to contact him for the last three hours. Um, they said the basketball coach has all their phones, so no one's able to get in touch. And then they shut the phones off in the school. In addition to not being able to communicate with their kids, Many parents told two on your side they were not informed about the emergency incident from the district. And they call about everything else. 
whether they're two minutes late for school, two minutes late for a class, absent. They call for everything else, not one phone call from the district. Yeah, absolutely. They were terrible at it, T absolutely terrible. Because we, we called up here several times. We couldn't get in touch with anybody. They didn't let the kids even have a cell phone. So my son got just happened to have his phone with him when they did the lockdown. And he, and he said, I'm all right, I'm all right. We communicated as soon as we could with our parents because this happened at an awkward time of day. It was at the dismissal time and it was at a time when we were still gathering information about what happened. There was a lot of misinformation and I needed to get make sure it what was accurate. Relief came hours later around seven o'clock when students were walked out in small groups and were reunited and many times embraced by families waiting for them. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Leanne. And there have only been 40 days so far in the year 2022. And according to Mayor Byron Brown, there had already been eight school shootings this year here in the United States. That's right. And tonight's incident makes nine. You never want to see this. Um, uh, school shootings have occurred all too frequently in this country. Uh, we never thought it would occur here in Buffalo. This isn't the first time there's been violence at McKinley High School. Last month, there were a number of fights at the school. In one case, a teacher was hurt trying to break one up. And three years ago, a teacher had to switch schools after he says a student body slammed him to the ground. As two on your sides, Claudine Ewing explains, frustrations there have been building for years. Wednesday, February 9th is a day students, teachers and staff who were inside McKinley High School will never forget. Yellow crime scene tape was seen on doors. It's not what you expect to see in a school. I received a text message from a teacher inside the building that there was a shooting. A shooting outside the building put McKinley on lockdown. Teachers and students were hiding in rooms, some under desks. I'm seeing four teachers on the floor in the office of the library. Trying to stay out of view of the windows. Did you hear the shots fired inside the school? Um, one of the colleagues heard shots. One ran into the office and told us to hide. And then they called the lockdown. Teachers have been complaining for months about violence inside of the school. They have eyewitness fights inside and outside. Staff members were injured breaking up fights. One teacher told me this shooting was inevitable. And on the day of a shooting, students were in classrooms as police had to come inside with guns drawn. Teachers are so upset. They blame poor leadership. No one listening to their cry for help. Now they say, in no uncertain terms, fire anyone responsible for creating an unsafe environment at McKinley because this is the day they feared happening. And now it has happened. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.